The Augustine volcano may not be a very well-known volcano, but it is an extremely active natural hazard that contributes to the Aleutian Arc of Alaska, a string of volcanic islands known for their high levels of activity. The Augustine volcano is located on an island in the Kenai Peninsula borough in the south central coast of Alaska. The volcano is a central dome cluster which is surrounded by pyroclastic debris. The Augustine volcano is one of many created by the subduction of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. This area of volcanoes contains 80% of the active volcanoes in America, 8% worldwide. Located 59 degrees north and 150 degrees west and standing at 4,134 feet, the Augustine volcano is the most active volcano in the Aleutian Arc. The volcano is consistently erupting and collapsing, causing pyroclastic ash flows. The flanks of the volcano consist mainly of debris avalanche and pyroclastic flow deposits formed by repeated collapse and regrowth of the volcano's summit. Augustine showed signs of liveliness in 1976 and 1986, but in April of 2005, the Augustine volcano sprung back to life. Thirteen eruptions occurred within the first 20 days of seismic activity. On January 11th of 2006, the Alaskan volcano was emitting gas and ground formations started to occur, which ended around March 12th through March 31st. For the particular eruption period, the estimated volume of erupted material is currently at 30 million cubic meters. With the first seismic installations in 1971 around this area, it dramatically helped the research studies of the Augustine volcano. In 2004, pressure sensors, broadband seismometers, and the cameras by the Alaska Volcano Observatory were also put in place for volcano research. There were not many damages or impacts of the 2005-2006 Augustine eruption, but there were many setbacks while the activity was taking place. During January, flight paths were moved and flights were canceled to avoid aircraft encounters with volcanic ash. During the period of January 11th to March 20th, the Anchorage Volcanic Ash Advisory Center issued 567 text reports concerning Augustine. Flights were also canceled going to and from Anchorage on January 18th and 30th. Since the location ex is extremely remote, humans do not necessarily pose a threat for danger with direct contact of the volcano. The volcano may cause landslides to bring tsunamis to shore, bringing harm to the coastal communities. The Alaska Volcano Observatory does daily observations of the Augustine Volcano Research when the next eruption will take place. Even though the last recorded activity took place in 2006, if the volcano did come to life again, it would be no surprise. It was almost breathing. Augustine Volcano is one of the most active volcanoes in the Aleutian Arc. It's erupted many times historically, I think 13 times in 1935, in 1964, in 1976, in 1986. Not erupted from 86 and then starting in 2005, it started to show signs of unrest or restlessness. I'm Michelle Coombs. I'm a research geologist at the Alaska Volcano Observatory. We are standing in front of uh, many monitors that are showing seismic data from various stations that we have in our volcano monitoring networks uh, throughout Alaska. Augustine is nice because it kind of gives us some signs that it might erupt. Those signs started in late spring or summer of 2005. We started to see very low but elevated levels of seismic activity underneath the volcano. So that gives you kind of a, a zoomed in view of, of Cook Inlet. And so here's Anchorage. And you can see there's kind of the, that the stations are sort of clustered. And that's because for each volcano, you don't want to monitor it with just a single instrument. You want to have a, a cluster of them around so that you can better locate where the earthquakes are happening. So uh, there's Augustine. We also have GPS instruments uh, that sit on the volcano and they can measure whether the volcano is swelling or deflating, kind of measure, you know, like a balloon. And if you have gas pressure or magma rising into the volcano, it's going to make its flanks raise up. And so we can measure that. And we started to see that kind of inflation, very low levels of it, but that started to happen in 2005. So we had these signs that something may be happening, and they were similar to, to what had gone on prior to earlier eruptions. Mm -hmm. 